Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel, The Spiritual Justice Gem. I'm Goddess Cleta, or you can call me Cleta. Either way, I answer to both. Um, give me just a second. I'm so sorry. I was prepared. Then I decided that I wanted to pull from some other cards. I already got um a message from yesterday regarding um this uh heal your foot um but i'm gonna get into that give me one second i'm gonna grab my other cards because you guys know i love my oracle cards so i'm gonna grab them real quick Sorry about that. I'm back. Okay. First off, we're going to leave off from the message from yesterday. Some of you guys are not aware that your foot is cut. Like you have cuts on the bottom of your foot. Like, I don't know, some it could be um, underneath like in a crevice of your toe or right underneath the bottom of the ball point of your foot. You don't really feel it. Um, this is uh, cut magic. And this has to do with prosperity and wealth. It's just called cut magic. And it has to do with your prosperity and wealth. Um, how can I put this? Uh, spirits say aloe, honey, um, or you can use some nearest one. Anything to heal up that cut, that wound. But you spiritually want to cleanse that too. I personally would use some witch hazel. But you can use anything you feel led to. It's a lot, it's a lot of different ways to heal your foot. Heal cuts in your foot. But just nourish your feet because they are the vehicles too. Your destiny, which is your money, your wealth, your finances, your cornucopia. So we have the wicked out here being wicked. We don't expect nothing more of them but to be wicked. So this is what they're into, this um new full, new full moon. And they are doing ruin spells, ten of swords spell, ruin. Like they want to end somebody, kill, in ruin spells. This is why they're doing it. They want to kill the vehicle to your destiny that's what they're trying to do and if you read the bible it talks about the vehicle to your destiny so um yeah anyways we won't get into that uh i'll only refer back to the bible because that's where i got that from the vehicle to your destiny i'm like hmm, god what do you mean by this anything that carries your wealth your soul your livelihood uh anything that you know a lot of times some people wealth is their healing ability a lot of people don't know that wealth is health meaning to heal is wealth and anybody that's not healing they're out here being wicked and doing other things to other people you know that they don't have wealth within them so yeah <laughs> these people are spiritually dead that's what we're saying they're spiritually dead um they're gonna be walking zombies around here literally walking zombies and um I say that because they'll do anything for money. And if you can be controlled by money, then baby, you a zombie. <laughs> and because all you do is got money on your brain. You don't got God on your brain. My um God is love, not money. <laughs> Anywho, we're gonna move forward. Yes, spirit is saying looking at this situation from a news perspective. Uh, they're attacking your um second chakra as well. Yeah. Yep, they're doing this under the moon. Like I said, it's under the moon cycle. Um, maybe um I, I had where this this particular individual was um was downloading stuff into my subconscious. Like the stuff I would watch, they would like do sublim subliminal videos or something, subliminal uh magic, so you could go watch certain stuff. And while you're watching it, it has stuff where it was downloading stuff into your um subconscious, like and then they do it in your sleep too. So I constantly clean up my subconscious. I constantly do these things because the wicked are being wicked. <laughs> I expect nothing less. So when you expect nothing less of the wicked, then you know all they don't play fairly. They don't play nicely. They don't play by the rules. And they try to do anything to sneak, a sneak attack, sneak hit. It's always about being sneaky. People who are of God, they're bold. You know what I mean? They like, they're like the sun. They're bright. They're bold. It doesn't, you know, they like peace. They don't like terrorizing people because they understand that only hurt people hurt people. So these people have to be miserable inside to attack you. You get what I'm saying? So um, shine that big old raw energy. <sighs> shine that big old sun energy. Go ahead and shine that big old solar plexus of energy because that's what it is, baby. Yes, do the damn thing. 
I'm sorry, I'm in a really good mood this morning. Yes, your daughter value is here. Sorry, I dropped the card, you guys. I get it. Oh, Jesus. Yes. They created some kind of contract with this new moon cycle. I know you guys saying this. Oh, yeah. Today is the six. Ooh. Today is a good day. <laughs> well, they created some kind of new contract with this moon cycle. I'm trying to see what this contract is. Or is this some kind of attachment? They created some kind of contract to have an attachment to you. Some kind of attachment with your patience. Uh, uh, what I picked up too, it kind of be, it, they probably is doing mood because that popped up in my mind. They're doing mood spells like to make you a moody, um, make you appear moody. Yeah. And that's the truth. They did this. Yes, they 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 did this. They thought they was going to get away with it because <laughs> I have those uh, the world card with the fool card. That means they thought they carelessly did that with the cycle. Like they thought they was going to get away with it. They they freely did it because they didn't think that nobody was going to see them. News flash. I see you. God see you. The most high sees you. We see you. <laughs> um, they could did some kind of uh, low vibrational. Uh, I want to say low vibrational magic, but what God is telling me to use is black magic over your relationship, over your healing process, over your happiness. I see some low vibrational energy done under the moon. So not only did they do something to your moods, but they did something to your relationship or something to your love. Um, hold on. Let me see. Yeah, this is a, this is the contract they created. Um, definitely a con. It keeps saying, uh, I keep getting a world card. No matter how many times I put it back in, God said, don't even, it's a lot of positive. I don't know. It's like they did all of this and God still blessing. It's still blessing you. It's a lot of positivity. I don't see coming in quickly too. Very quick. <laughs> God said this situation is already turned around, but they did do this early. This, uh, what's this over this person? Love anybody that love you. They want them to hate you. They want you them to see you in a low vibrational light. Yeah. Um, anything to do with your sex life too. They don't want you to have a good sex life. They did all kind of little vibrational magic, magic over, um, your life in this moon cycle, this new moon cycle. Oh my gosh. It could have been a Capricorn, um, person, sun sign person. Cause I'm picking up heavy Capricorn here. So somebody that is really a Capricorn and not only that, they're dwelling in this low vibrational energy. You have to understand Capricorn is not always low vibrational energy. Capricorn sometimes can you need rules and structure to run this world. But this person is upside down. So clearly this is a Capricorn who's in their devil side, basically. Very what I'm getting here is all you need to do is cleanse your second chakra. Um, a lot of stuff has already turned around. Um, Archangel uh, Ariel wants you to reach out to him. Well, to her. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Archangel Ariel. She said reach out to her. Um, and that, that just simply means clean your second chakra. You can pray directly to Archangel Ariel to get this removed. Or you can do the high frequency music to remove this from your um, chakra. And yeah, um... Spirit say you you got common sense. You know what to do. Like spirits like be optimistic about cleansing, doing this cleansing because when you cleanse, it's some kind of reward that you get when you cleanse. When these people do that, yeah, because they're doing some kind of sneaky behavior. So they say um, and they are waiting for oh seven seven. Let's see what comes up in that again. Two okay seven seven two. I know seventy two is a great number. So seven seven two. This could be your angel number um, to look up, 772. Let me look it up real quick while I'm sitting here. But um, what I'm getting here is they did some kind of sneaky behavior. They're waiting for it to like basically manifest. And Spirit's like, we blocked that ish. It's gone. But just clear your second chakra just um, so that um, you can be able to receive all of your blessings. You know what I mean? It's always some sneaky ish going on. Um, Spirit says, uh, use your... Uh, crown chakra they may have did something to your crown chakra or it's some kind of envy here spirits say use your discernment basically uh 
to see look at the situation from a higher perspective and see that somebody is envious of you they're jealous of you so this is why they keep attacking you in this way they don't like the work that you do they don't like that you're the light and of course when people are low vibrational and you're high vibrational and you're um different and you're 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 reaching start to new heights and you're a lot of people who are high vibrational um they be around a lot of people but most of the time they be to themselves and god can speak to them so a lot of people don't like that you stay to yourself but yet you're a people person i am that way and I, that's why i totally get it like you're extrovert introvert and i i do both i'm i, I do both i'm good with both <laughs> 10 10 on the clock um spirit say yeah this is the truth like they don't god said look at it from a higher perspective and uh, uh, attach from all feelings you know just from a um i say a god perspective because if i see things how god see them it's as close as as possible as possible as i can see how as god see them then that would that would bring about your understanding of the situation like okay this person is low vibration this person have this and that womb to heal and you won't be so apt to judge this person because i do that too sometimes i find myself judging people and i'm just like Twitter, mm -mm, mm -mm, we're not gonna do that and i'll be like god forgive me because mm -mm, mm -mm, that's not what we do these people are low vibrational because they have attachments they have entity attachments um and they have um some kind of envy in their heart their heart is not light as a feather when your heart is not light as a feather baby you cannot float that means you cannot go uh up you cannot float you cannot go up ascend and this is what weighs a lot of people bound people like how do you do this keep your heart as light as a freaking feather is what i'm trying to tell you even when somebody do me wrong i forgive them that don't mean i don't know what they do i know what you do but why am i holding the grudge that's between you and god because you don't got a problem with me you got a problem with the god in me so if you got the problem with the most high god that was that wells within me then your problem is with god it's not with me and god gonna deal with you <laughs> okay yeah um, so it say you do see your value and you need to, uh, basically something, something with your stability. Yeah. Somebody tried to cause some instability with your finances and your value to your self-worth and your family and your love. They wanted you to be anxiety, to be private, uh, to be in um, poverty. And they wanted this man who is the other part of your vehicle to your soul to not see you in this beautiful seventh chakra which is this crown chakra uh, energy they did not want you to this person to see your soul basically and this person has always seen your soul and they are very very jealous of that so they're thinking of ways uh, how can we come what, what are the possibilities that we can do to silence this white person's voice because this person tells the truth and people love when this person tells the truth and this person is very strong so how can we get them to walk away to other um uh, other things and not their life purpose um so they did a strategy to how to deceive you and they took action on this and spirit said this is supposed to happen they wanted to an indecision but spirit came in and no baby this person is on her or his path so why are you trying to block this person so this can, it could have been a community of people but spirit stepped in and oh these are the angels thank you angel spirit stepped in three angels in particular and then you have some ascended master that sent then and clear up this heartbreak and balance out your um confidence and all these stuff that tied that had you tied up and cleared your heart chakra and gave you the victory and you gonna have your success with your loved ones and your caring connection sure say um don't play with them mm -mm, they about their life y'all these low vibrational people think they about their life but spirit is really about their life and they don't need to physically touch your ass because <laughs> they all see all know all and when you're nothing that's why i like being nothing when i'm nothing then i'm everything but when you try to be everything then you're really nothing because you're wasting your energy on things that don't matter instead of putting your energy into things that do matter when you're nothing i see myself not as nothing but compared to the most high i am nothing so i'm very humble and when i am nothing to the most high that he gives me everything I, and that's the the, the the um the the secret to manifesting is to want something but be attached be, be detached from what you want and when you're detached is because when somebody's attacking you or when, when you letting the universe figure that out 
You're not in your head creating all these energies and worry. Oh, this need to happen right there. You're not attached to it. So it's just like, <laughs> if it come, it come. If it don't, I know what I put out there, but you know, however God going to bless me, going to do it. He know what I want, but that might, that might not be what I need. You feel me? Or that might not be what um she wants to give to me. So I have to be open to other possibilities as well. But when you know your life purpose, see, I know this is my life purpose. Reading tarot cards, connecting to the archangels, being a medium. I actually talked to my brother last night, which is really good. But um, being a, a medium and doing all those things um, is really... Um, my calling and I know that and nobody can take it away you may can try to delay it or stop some blockages and I have to clear it out but that's all you're going to do and you in a, in a in the midst of doing all that you're creating more bad karma for yourself we already have karma to deal with when we come in this lifetime why do you want to create more for yourself you it's easy to me it's not easy to heal but it's better for you to heal now so that you can have a prosperous life later or however your life is going you get what i'm saying maybe you start off with a prosperous life and then something happened to test your faith and then god trying to get you you know back on track so so they can make you build you and make you stronger but if you continue to stay in that low vibrational energy then what you think you're gonna do that's why i try to be happy in all circumstances yes i get upset yes i have um feelings yes i'm human but what i'm saying is i try my best to stay as positive as possible because positivity begets solutions if you're in negativity all you see is problems and you think something that needs to be dealt with see i don't see problems I it well let me put it this way I see problems but I see them as something that I can overcome by just being positive by just like letting people do them do you like you know how people are I'm not saying let people do you anyway but I see people before they come and I'll be like okay I'm gonna go ahead and act like I don't know what this person is gonna do and I'm gonna let this person prove to me that they are worthy of such and such such and such or it depends on what situation in it and I, I'm not going ahead and remove myself when I see that you're not worthy I'm not going to be in the midst of a sinner and helping him to sin oh I'm gonna help you have a grudge against me no you have no reason to have a grudge against me because I did everything in my will possible not for you to have a grudge not to stand in your way not to do this and not to do that i did everything that i was supposed to do and then i leave it to god because once you do that then people have no reason they have to that forces people to look at yourself and that's what makes me a diamond because i make sure my heart is a light as a feather and i make sure i do the most right things you know pos as possible when when i say right i don't mean legal i mean right as in is upright in spirit it is pleasing to god because a lot of things that people do in this world and they think that god is pleased with them and god is really truly not and god is like i'm trying to tell you that that ain't right you know and then they have to learn later that it wasn't right see i don't have to do that because i'm in touch with the most high i know my calling i know thyself and i know my ancestors and I know they voice. So once you know all these things and you put things into practice and you start practicing these things over and over, it creates perfection simply because of your obedience. Obedience and the willing to um, fail. Uh, meaning, um, how can I put this? I'm obedient to the most high God. So when I'm obedient, even if I look crazy in front of people, I'm still obedient. And my obedience is what get me blessings. Because I know that I don't know everything. I'm a mere mortal person. But my connection to the most high God is what makes me immortal. So if I tap into that and stay tapped in, why shouldn't I? You know what I mean? There's nothing that these people on this face of earth can do to you. And if they do, they do it is woe unto them. Because I am the chosen. I am the elected. I am the anointed. And I am the prophet. I'm all four. So I'm I'm, I'm quadruply uh protected <laughs> and people are like how does she do this i don't do this i just simply be obedient and i be innocent of all charges that people try to conjure up in their mind oh she did this or she did that and then god said he will wipe all your sins away i am still a sinner but i am obedient so he has to wipe my sins away because i try to walk as close as to god as i possibly can and when i fail god be like uh you see what all these other people don't let out too you know, you, you and your, look at your heart. It's still light. It's a feather. So that's what washes my sins away. It seems like I'm perfect, but I'm not. It's simply that I am obedient to the voice of my father and my mother. 